Right, excited about what's just come through the post in this little box. Um, my original engine control unit ECU for the Mark II Golf has died to death. It's no longer functioning correctly. It's uh, overfueling and allowing fuel to pour into the oil sump. So I could just go to the scrapyard, pay my 30, 40 quid, or look on eBay, whatever, get the right. ECU, plug it in and be done. But that ECU would be the factory standard one, which was designed to run a 1.88 valve GTI engine. My engine is no longer that. It's got the two litre bottom end, it's got fast road cams, it's got uh, a, a number of performance modifications in order to make it go faster. The governing factor or the, 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 the factor that's kind of it's Achilles heel at the moment is that original ECU because you can't program it you can't change anything within the fueling maps or anything else for that matter to make the thing and um, take advantage of the other modifications that have been done to it so with that in mind in this box which is a very thin small box doesn't look like much this is my new ECU uh, Hmm, doesn't it look much like an ECU, you say? No, it doesn't at the moment. This is the printed circuit board. So I've basically got, basically got to build my own ECU from scratch. Got all the components to make it work in here, different electrical bits and bobs, um, resistors, LEDs, etc. Loads of different odds and sods. And this is the microcomputer that actually makes it work. This is the Arduino board. It's a Mega 2560 Revision 3 Arduino board, basically a Raspberry Pi. Um, and this thing, coupled with the board that I've got to build up, one will piggyback the other when it's done and then I'll put it in an enclosure and it'll become an ECU. All of this kit here, once it's all put together, is going to basically become a really powerful little ECU which will allow me to tune my Mark II Golf way beyond its current capacity. Its current capacity is nothing because the ECU is dead. But, um, <coughs> pardon me, cold. But yeah, exciting project once I've got all this together. I've got to do a lot with the car to make the inputs for this to the car because there's a lot of new sensors that are involved, this, that and the other. So yeah, it's going to be a, a, an interesting project and something that I haven't done before. I've never messed around with a, an ECU, never done any electronics really. Um, but I'm handy with stuff, so I'm, I'm confident that this is going to work i think it's going to be a massive headache and take me a long time to do it but that's half the fun of the project supposedly so <laughs> right so yeah i'll start cracking on i've already done a lot of research and planning into this so let's hope it doesn't take me years to complete i'm my time frame frame is as long as it takes really but i'd like to think i can get it done in a reasonably short space of time I'll post up videos with my pro progress on this. So, thanks for watching.